All right, guys, let's get stuck into the uh, sop with Kemmel. Okay, so sop with Kemmel, where we leave off. I built these frames. Um, a couple of frames here, you're gonna have a go at covering those. Now, the first issue I had was, I put an order in on the 14th of June. Um, I've just got off the phone from a gentleman, actually, which makes me a bit, you know. Um, so 14th of June, it's now about the 20th of July, so it's five or six weeks. Uh, got my order, express post from Queensland, five or six weeks. So, don't want to be too negative on this channel, but you know, these are just the experiences of building an aircraft, going through the processes. Ordered my fabric, got the fabric, and I ordered some um, Stuart System Eco Bond, which is the glue. I'll put a picture of that up if I can find one, what I thought I was getting. And anyway, this is what rocks up, just a Mount Franklin water bottle with some blue liquid in it. So that's fine, but I don't actually know what's in here, i.e. no shelf life, um, has it been diluted, you know, mix ratios, that sort of thing. I know it's online, <clears throat> the mix ratios, but I don't know the shelf life of this, I don't know the history of this, is it just out of someone's bloody drum they've had under the bench? So anyway, I rang up this company up in Queensland, Australia, and the guy pretty much abused me. So, you know, I'll use this on the test pieces, but yeah, I don't, I don't think that's really acceptable. One, it's in a drink bottle. What's the first thing you learn? Don't put it in a drink bottle. Um, and I just tried to explain to him that if it was a certified aircraft, how can you, like it's still sealed with sticky tape, you know, for postage, but that's been tampered with obviously, and it's a water bottle. So, <sighs> enough said, let's move on. All right, take a deep breath, we'll move on. Um, getting abused on the phone just because you, uh, you know, question the integrity of a product that you're gonna fit to an aircraft. So my guess that the fabric worked out well, two meters and they'll lay out good and then flip them over and cut another piece. So we'll cut out the fabric. All right, I won't film too much of this, but just working my way around with the covering, the model aircraft iron, second thing, second skin on there, I guess. Put the glue on, let that dry, use the pinking shears and we'll iron that down. So having two pieces sort of, let's one cure while work on the other. Rightio, back from a bit of a break. It's had a week now. First thing I noticed, this stuff's still um, still sort of cold and tacky. Not tacky, but it's not dry. But I've been down to check the guys that do this stuff for a living. Um, they've assured me that that's, that's normal. So I've got, well, I've got the iron heating up. I'm just going to lay down some furry bits, touch those up. And then we'll lay some tapes and finish the tailplane. So moving on to the tailplane, or I call this the tailplane. One side's covered. So cover one side. Done the initial pre-tension. There's plenty of videos on the Stuart system covering, so I don't want to go into too much of a detail, but so cover one side, then do an initial shrink on this side. So got rid of all the wrinkles. Um, just around the perimeter that's glued. Now I'm Part of the reason of doing this is just to test everything as the helicopters take off outside. Got my pencil, I just marked roughly a one inch edge in there. Now we'll lay some bonding agent, or glue, adhesive, and lay the covering on from the other side and fold it up. Got a nice doing this, just take your time and do it nice and neat. It's easy to um, just think, oh, it's only a test piece, but I want this to replicate exactly what I'm going to do on the aircraft. Just laying that edge over in the sort of tacked off glue. I'll mark the covering. Now we'll pop it back up again and trim it off. So following the video, just going nice and slow. Heating this down to get all the wrinkles out of the radius. 
um, which is nice. And then I'm going to pull that back up once I mark this line and cut her off. But uh, yeah, shrinks down nicely. All right, got the bottom one glued on, let that dry, then we can shrink down the other side, tighten it down. What I did notice is when you flood the glue on, you can actually sort of shuffle it, it, it the fabric moves. Um, but I'll hit it with the iron again. Not sure I'm 100% on this system yet, but there's nothing, it never seems to dry. So it doesn't it sort of feels like a strong bond. But anyway, we'll persevere. All right, still playing around. Still not 100% sure I know what I'm doing here. Put some rib tapes on. Uh, I've got to do the perimeter and the leading edge. Um, it just doesn't seem to dry this stuff. I think it's okay, but we'll see, we'll persevere. But I am leaning towards chemicals. Oh yeah, the poly brush system. All right, we'll come back tomorrow, have another go. Uh, not sure. Got to I'll cut up some strips. That's half my trouble, I guess. Cutting my own strips instead of buying the roll, you end up pulling the threads a bit, so it creases this stuff. When you put the um, when you put the tapes on, here's some test pieces. I'm going to test the strength tomorrow. It sort of goes like wet paper. Um, I'm putting tissue on a model aeroplane, I guess. So you got to be careful. You can sort of create a wave and then push the wave off the end. Come back tomorrow, see how it goes. All right, just working through with my scrap pieces. I must admit I'm not in love with the steward system stuff, but anyway, we'll keep going. Um, just working with what I've got. I haven't got a whole roll of tape, so I've just cut some up. I'll just do the radius. Normally that'd go you know, the whole length. I've just done the centre bit. Um, I just want to practice the radius really, so I'll iron this down and glue it down. See how we go. So just with the iron, working slowly, get that radius to lay down nice and flat without any wrinkles. And whack some glue on. Tapes are on. Now just going with a thin, thin coat of Eco Bond, three to one, foam brush, brushing it into the weave, which will seal it ready for primer. All right, so there you go. Covered in Eco Fill. I'll let that dry. Got a few wet spots I can see, but with the primer, we'll see what happens. So that's the process, I guess, at this stage. I'll hit it with the iron again. But until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll keep plugging away.